Hello, once again. This is the Peace Security Channel, and it's been quite a while since Malwarebytes Anti-Malware version 2.0.2 has been released, and I haven't really given it the full review treatment, although I have done several scans with it. So today we'll be testing out their premium version, which of course I've got a trial for, and uh, we'll use some uh, regular zero-day malware links and see how this thing responds. So as you can see, I've got it completely up to date. As far as the user interface is concerned, uh, this looks like kind of a downgrade to me because honestly I'm not a big fan of this new user interface. It's flashy, it doesn't go easy on the eyes, it looks like it's trying to assert itself, kind of like marketing stuff, but this kind of stuff doesn't really feel well placed in a product like Malwarebytes. I can understand some other products uh, doing this kind of thing, but honestly, I really like the old Malwarebytes user interface. I guess this is supposed to suit Windows 8, but then again, I mean, why do people want to make all their products suit Windows 8? I mean, I hate Windows 8 user interface personally. So, anyway, uh, user interface is a matter of preference. Uh, you may like it. You may not. Depends on you. My verdict doesn't really matter. But all the important stuff is still here. You still got your main uh, scan options and update options. Everything's um, well organized. So that aspect of the user interface hasn't really changed that much. Uh, basically, it's just uh, reskinning of the user interface. But the core uh, parts of the user interface are still the same. You still have all your options. And uh, I guess slightly more options now that you've got them laid out this way. So no real harm done in that scenario. So let's just um, go and start doing the test because um, I don't really think there's much to know about Malwarebytes. I mean, I've been using it for a long, long time. And even um, in the past few days, I've used it in my reviews. So I don't see why I need to talk about it for too long. As far as the memory usage goes with the real-time guards enabled, that is something I'm really happy to see that they fixed. If you recall, the previous versions used uh, more than 100 megabytes of RAM, which was really high for something like this, which is supposed to run alongside your antivirus and is not the primary anti-malware product. So it's good to see that they've brought it down to something like 35 megabytes. So it's a noticeable improvement. So now, here goes nothing. Let's just try our links and hope that Malwarebytes can stop them. If not, you'll be relying on your parent anti, I mean, your main anti-malware product. Oops, just hold on a second. So, Windows Defender caught this one, and uh, that's not much of a surprise because uh, since this is supposed to run alongside your parent uh, or your main anti-malware product, uh, no wonder it didn't disable Windows Defender. But since we are testing Malwarebytes, I will disable it during this test just to see what Malwarebytes alone is capable of. Once again, I'll just disable the smart screen filter. Of course, uh, on a real computer, you'd probably use all of this stuff along with Malwarebytes, but for the sake of testing, for testing purposes, we definitely don't want this stuff getting in the way. And finally, Malwarebytes also blocks it. So even if uh, you used uh, some crappy anti-malware product that just let this thing go through, Malwarebytes would still block it. Anyway, that was an easy link to start with, with more than, I think, 40 detections in Virestool. This one will be more interesting. Maybe not, because this one's caught by their web guard, so they did have this link blacklisted. Now this is a zip file. We'll open it. And once again, Malwarebytes catches it, so definitely the real-time signatures seem to be doing pretty well here. If you remember in the previous tests, uh, Malwarebytes did seem to detect the infections after they became system infections, but not while they're being executed. But this time it looks like 
the real-time signatures are doing their job pretty well. Let's try out the next link. Once again, blocked. You know what? If Malwarebytes does really well, they could just make it the one and only required anti-malware product. Of course, it doesn't have any kind of behavioral guards, but they could make one, considering they've made a product this good. Once again, Trojan Agent blocked. That's great news. svchost.exe disguised as a Windows file. And wow, this, this link is just absolutely legit. It's great. Nowadays we're getting CPU. Just show you the link. Yeah. Looks very legit. DirectX.com CPU. Great. So nowadays we're getting hardware in the form of EXE files. Very interesting. Let's see if it blocks this one because this is a phishing website and uh, I'm not surprised. It gets through and uh, the real deal here is uh, this thing's going uh, to steal your identification. It's going to steal your username and password. There you go. The moment you click on any one of these, it just claims to, it claims that to view a shared document, you need to log in. And the moment you press any one of these, it just asks you for your email address and your password. And once you type that in and hit sign in, they just steal everything. And as you can see, funnily enough, uh, the website is called uh, wintracker.co.za. Uh, never go to any such website and give in your login information unless you're really sure that it is actually Google Docs. This thing claims to be Google Docs, but obviously it's not. So Malwarebytes haven't really made any databases for phishing, I guess. Let's try out this one. Once again, Trojan Downloader Agent blocked. And here goes the last one. And this one doesn't quite work because it requires, I guess, Net Framework 2.0. But anyway, let's just try to save it and see if Malwarebytes just detects it. I'll just save it on my desktop. Then we can just uh, go ahead and uh, scan it with Malwarebytes. Doesn't appear like Malwarebytes blocking it. So right now I'll just uh, do a quick little scan and I'll be back with the results. So let's just see if it catches this file. Welcome back. Unfortunately, Malwarebytes does not detect that file. <laughs> and uh, that's a bit of a surprise because uh, a lot of engines detect this file. It's got a detection rate of 31 out of 53, which is very high. So it's almost certainly malware. And surprisingly, Malwarebytes is one of the few engines that haven't detected it. So anyway, not too bad considering uh, that this is not your primary anti-malware product. It's supposed to work alongside another product. So as a side product, definitely not bad. Uh, might be worth investing in, but they have made some improvements and they had to now that they're going to charge you every year for this. Is it worth it? Well, it depends on what kind of main product you use. If you use a product that has really good signatures, I don't think this is going to make too much of a difference if, uh, unless you're really concerned. And for most purposes, I would just use their removal feature. I mean, just scan and remove. The real-time protection, it, it's not bad, but it's still not something that really, you know, really impresses me. So, unless you're really into this kind of stuff and you really need those extra signatures, I wouldn't pay them yearly. A one-time payment was definitely, it was more like a donation that you wanted to support these guys, but now that they want a yearly payment, I would suggest to consider your options before you just hand them out the money. So anyway, it's a pretty good product. Uh, does its work fairly well, but again, I mean, uh, the real time definitely can be improved even more. And also, 
if you're going to run this alongside another anti-malware program, memory usage can become an issue even now, although they have really brought it down. So definitely more improvements in that direction would also be appreciated. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Comment, rate, and subscribe as usual, and stay tuned for more updates like this one.